action. Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to show you um, how to replace your two-speed transmission gears in case you ever uh, need to replace them. So the model that we're replacing the gears on is the Tornado S30 made by Red Cat Racing. Um, the two-speed transmission gears right in the center of the vehicle. Oops, right here, these two gears right here. Um, so what we're going to be showing you today is how to replace both the gears because it is a two-speed transmission. I'm going to kind of give you like a step-by-step -step on how to, to do this in case you guys um, want to try it yourself. So what we're going to need first is going to be a Phillips. And then we like to use um, the uh, hexes, so the 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3. So we like to use these tools right here. Also, what you're going to need is you're going to need some uh, blue Loctite. Um, we like to use this particular brand. It, it works very good for us here. So we're going to be using some blue Loctite as well. Um, you're going to need this for any metal to metal, not plastic. Um, and not anything screwing onto plastic, only metal to metal. And what we're going to be using this on is going to be the um, inside of the two-speed transmission box. I, um, when I open it up, I'll show you there's C-cups in there and there's little grub screws. And you have to tighten the grub screws on the flat spot, but you always want to use blue Loctite. Um, all right, guys, so let's begin. So first thing I'm going to do here is um, this has a little gas inside. So I'm just going to unplug the hose that um, is connected to the uh, carburetor here. So I'm just gonna unplug that. And then I'm gonna unplug the top hose here uh, from the top of the fuel tank. And I'm just gonna basically put put it right in there. And what that does is it just closes the seal, as you can see. So in case I'm flipping the car around, I'm not getting any fuel coming out. Um, all right, so I'm gonna grab the Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna take out, let me grab a little light here. If you guys can see it a little better, yeah, that should be a little better there. So what I'm going to do is just take these four screws out, just like that. You're always going to want to put a little uh, blue Loctite on uh, these four screws here. These four screws are like the most important screws on the car. They hold down the engine, so if they're loose and the engine uh, shifts, it's going to strip your gears. And that's kind of what happened here. So. If these four screws are loose, you're definitely gonna have a, an issue with your gears. Very important. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna grab the four screws here. I'm gonna use a little just like a little magnet. If you have somewhere to put all the screws as you take them off, um, so you don't misplace them, I'm just gonna use a little magnet here, put it to the side. All right, so once the four screws come off, then this engine is just gonna slide right out, as you can see. Now, what is hooking the engine on is on the carburetor. It has this little hook here from this, uh, this little wire thing connected to the servo. So what you do is you just very carefully uh, just twist the engine, remove the pull cord out of the way, and then you just very carefully twist the engine uh, out and then it just slides out. So as you can see, there's like a little L on there and you wanna make sure that you don't bend that. And keep in mind where it actually comes out of. It comes out of the second one, right? The middle uh, of the engine. Here's the air filter. I'm gonna move that to the side. Now, a little space here. So now what I like to do um, is I like to grab the, it's the two, where is it? this one here yeah so it's gonna be the the number two uh, millimeter and I like to take the screw off here so I can just completely remove the engine and there's the engine itself once the engine is out um, I like to look over everything make sure that all the screws holding down the engine here are tight you know look over the pull cord screws um, you can also now that you have it out you can just give it a nice little like I just I just clean it out a little bit with a little brush just to get all that dirt out of there and um, here's the clutch bell as you can see it's uh, it's in good shape so I'm just gonna tighten it okay. 
Okay, this one uses the 2.5, which is this one right here. So we're just gonna tighten it, just to make sure everything is nice and nice and tight. And then we're gonna tighten up the two screws here on the side of the manifold, just to make sure everything is good. Yeah, everything seems to be... These ones were a little loose here, so we just tightened these back up, but everything else seems to be okay. So this is all good here. Um, all we're really doing is we're um, changing the, the gears. So to get to the gears here, we're gonna remove these four here. Once those four screws out, this is gonna be, it's already on its way out here. As you can see, it's very loose. So we just very carefully remove it, remove the dog bones, different sizes, front and rear. Dog bones slide out. This will come right off, here it is. And we're just gonna unhook it right there. Boom, and there it is, it's out. Um, what you want to do to open it up and change the gears is you're going to remove this. Let me grab something to show you guys here. So you're going to remove this grub screw here from the C cup. And once that grub screw comes off, you can actually slide uh, the C cup out. And then you have these two screws, one here and then one here. And by removing those, you'll be able to open up the diff. And we'll do that now. back that off you don't have to take it all the way out just as long as it you know it's loose enough where it slides out and if you look closely uh, there's a if you look closely here see how there's a flat spot um, you see the flat spot there so yeah you're gonna tighten it when you put it back on you're gonna tighten it on that flat spot but we're also gonna take this off and we're gonna put some blue lock type so here I'm just gonna open it all up and there it is so there's your your bearing You're gonna slide the bearing out. You could just put the bearing back into the to the case here. Then here's the 47 tooth gear, but it also has a little washer. There it is. Here's the washer. I'm gonna move that to the side. Now this is very important, guys. When you're taking this apart, when you take this gear off, there's a one-way bearing in there. Okay, so. Um, be very careful that you put it on the exact same way on the new gear. So if you put it on the opposite side, it won't grab because it's a one-way bearing. Like it's supposed to grab when you're going clockwise. But if you put it on the opposite way, it will grab only when it's counterclockwise and the engine is not spinning that direction. So um, make sure that you definitely put it on the right way, okay? So I'm just sliding it out here, just put a little pressure, you're not really hammering anything, you're just putting a little pressure. Once uh, it's out, there it is right there. What I like to, I like to kind of hold it here, what I like to do is so I don't forget, um, is there's a little, let me see if you can see, you can read that, there's a little writing on it, as you can see there, on that side, and that's the side that you're going to be putting in words like that on the new gear. So I'm going to grab the new gear which is this one. Uh, if you're looking for the part number, it's uh, zero, it's zero six uh, two three two. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. There it is. Okay, and now we're gonna grab, boom, the one-way bearing, there's the writing on it, so we're gonna put it on the exact same way, just like that. Boom, there it is. Okay, now this is done. We're gonna put this to the side. Now we're gonna work our way into the 42 gear here. Um, now to take this off is pretty simple. All you're gonna do is just, you're gonna slide this out. Yeah, so this one's a little, a little snug on there, but you just pull it out and it slides right out. Now here's the Here's the, uh, the gear, 42. And now if you look closely, there's a little metal rod right in there. So like a little a tiny little metal rod and you always have to use that because that's when the 
when the actual transmission is spinning like fast enough that's what grabs it right so if you don't have that little metal rod in there you can definitely break the plastic so on the new gear itself here which is part number uh, 06033 you can see the little the little rod is right in there so we're going to slide that in okay so i'm going to take this off there's the little rod i'm going to grab the little rod put the little rod right inside here boom make sure that it is um, all the way in and not out like that so we're just going to tap it in okay there it is that's pretty flush there okay so now I think we're ready to slide everything back on so we're just going to Slide everything here. This is a little, little snug, but it does slide right in there. And then we're gonna put the second one in there as well, like that. Okay, there it is. Here's the two bad gears. Move them to the side. We're gonna put the washer back in. Boom. Put that back in there. Pretty straightforward. Two screws back on it goes like that back on and then here we're gonna screw this one back on so there we go we're gonna just spin this make sure everything is spinning nice perfect um, now remember we still have the uh, C cup here with the grub screw so we're just gonna completely take it off we're gonna grab a little bit of blue Loctite here put it around the thread like so and we are going to not tighten it all the way just a little bit slide it back on make sure that you are lining up the flat spot with the uh, the C cup like so Boom, it goes just like that. There it is. Pretty snug. Okay, and uh, that's it. So now that we actually have the transmission box out, um, we might as well just take the other grub screw and put some blue Loctite on it from the other side that holds the brake pad in. So we're just going to take this off. Put a little bit of thread lock there. And I'm going to slide this back on. So when you guys are doing this, um, it's easier for you to, um, like it's easier for you guys to go from this side, like take this C cup out and then open up from this way. Because if you open it from this other end, there's, there's a lot more stuff here and that you have to take off. And there's this little like metal, uh, like it's a small little part here that basically works with the brake rod and it's very tiny and you really need that part and if you lose it I mean you're gonna have to replace this whole thing because that's how you get that that little part but don't take this front end off here just work your way from from back here it's much easier to do okay so that's basically it there you go guys um the two speed is in now all we really got to do is put it back on the vehicle um, but what I like to do here because I basically already have the car out right so like it's already out as you can see um, so I like to do the same thing with the C cup uh, here so we're just gonna remove it right there we're just gonna remove it and then we'll put a little blue Loctite these things uh, throughout time through wear and tear uh, tend to just loosen off through vibration so uh, good maintenance is just putting blue Loctite on the gross screws on all the four C cups okay there it is okay here we go Now I think we're gonna be ready to slide this back on. So here it is. We're gonna put the this actual um, brake link, boom, right in like that. We are going to line up the brake link to this here at the bottom, boom, like that. 
and then it's just gonna slide back in like so. And then the hardest part of this whole job is putting on the dog bone, uh, the dog bones front and rear back on. It's a little tricky. Um, so what I like to do is I like to grab, there's a couple ways of doing it, but what I like to do is I just kind of like to grab a little magnet here. It is so you might have to kind of like roll the car a little bit just to kind of line up the C cup and the dog bone but the front one is in already and I'm holding the differential in place now once that's in I'm just gonna so it doesn't move on me I'm just going to put back the screws here There we go. Now we got the front end, and now we just work our way uh, back here. So, as you can see here, this is not going to just fit. Like we can't force that in there like that. So, um, I just take the two screws here back. This one, and then this one here. All right, guys. So, um, normally when I actually put these uh transmission when i change these gears and i usually don't remove the back end but because i'm making this how-to video it, it it it's very difficult to do it like that so i kind of wanted to just simplify it and make it as easy as possible for anyone out there um so that way if you're trying to squeeze both dog bones in and you can't get the right angle it can get frustrating so what i have done is i just gone ahead and taken off the screws from the back just to remove it so there's two screws back here that hold this in place and then I removed also the four here at the bottom actually there's six so these four and then the two here and what that does is boom that gives you the freedom to just remove this that's all you really got to do uh, once that's out then you can just simply slide the dog bone oops let me just slide that in okay then you can just boom slides right in and there you go and then you just put the screws back on that's this the easiest way to do it without really um, you know, getting too frustrated if you don't remove this back end because I normally do them by just by the center diff and I just position them in a way where they just slide on but uh, just takes a lot of practice to, to do that so this is going to definitely be the easiest way and then don't forget to put the two up here back on in case you mix up all the screws the uh Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. No problem. Uh, I was just recording a little video here for YouTube, so <laughs> just to show everybody how to do it. Yeah. Okay, so in case you guys mix, mix up the screws then, the ones that are round, are the two round ones are going to be for the top, and then the flat, flat ones are going to be for the bottom. Okay, there it is, guys. So that's how you replace the gears. Now we got the new gears on there, and that only literally took, like... I don't know, maybe five minutes, six minutes. So a pretty simple job to do. The most important thing though, when you guys are replacing any parts on a nitro car, um, is anything metal to metal, put blue Loctite. Blue Loctite is gonna definitely help you a lot. Um, now here we have the engine. We've already taken this apart um, and we've tightened whatever needed to be tightened here. Everything seems to be pretty good. So we're just gonna slide it back on. Okay guys, so now that we have these four on there, they're not really tight, they're just hold, just holding the engine in place. We haven't tightened them just yet, and the reason why is because um, there's something that you want to do before you tighten these. So you, um, you basically want to make sure that you get enough uh, spacing from the gears to the clutch bell here. So they have to kind of like, you know, line up fairly nice, like if it's too much of a gap then you're gonna have too much play and it's not good but if they're too close or too tight then um, that's not good either because there's gonna be friction so there should be at least you know a little play maybe I would say like two mil one or two mil and the way to find out how much play you have is by grabbing with one finger grab hold on to the gear here the bigger one and then with your other finger index finger hold on to the clutch bell here and then what you do is you just kind of go back and forth and that'll give you an idea of the gap 
Now that's what I like to do here uh, at the store. Um, it's the easiest way to find out how much spacing you got. So right now I feel like there's maybe around a mil, which is great. So I'm gonna start tightening them up one by one. Okay, so there we are. So we just checked the spacing. Spacing is good. Make sure these are nice and tight. that yeah these are solid okay so everything feels really solid right now the gear is nice like there's like no friction so it's nice and smooth and you can hear the gears uh, grabbing there so that's great um, now that's basically it guys now what you do is clean off obviously your air filter lukewarm water and soap um, <clears throat> Put that back on and then remember to put your hoses back on so like that right and then the top one goes to your exhaust so. and that's it guys so that's how you change a two-speed transmission uh, so I hope this video helps you guys you know, you know through your maintenance and uh, through changing parts on your tornado s30 so we're um, we're out here with the owner of the vehicle that we just did the two-speed transmission on and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna test it to see if it's kicking in nice so um, I'm just gonna sorry what's your Adriano. we're here with Adriano he's the owner of the vehicle so I'm gonna get Adriano to hold the camera for a second and that way I start it up for him if you don't mind you can just uh, uh, yeah we'll just get the car on there great so so we're just gonna start po turn power on power open up the choke here Grab, this is your igniter. It's a little chip there, but that's okay. You should still start it up. So we're just going to test to see how the second gear is kicking in. The gear first. Yeah, you hear it? Okay, so we can adjust that to kick in earlier or later, depending on how you like it. Um, right now, we're just going to run it. running a little rich so we're gonna do a minor adjustment because obviously there's a lot of cars yeah. so we're just gonna just uh, take it easy with it just test it out there you did you hear it yeah. it's kicking in I think a little too early so we can actually adjust that to kick in a little later yeah you hear it right change the gear so I can tell already that it's a little too soon so I think you guys are gonna be racing it really fast right yeah. so you might want it to kick in a little later and I'm gonna just adjust it right now shut it down for a second so to adjust the second gear to kick in uh, later um, sooner or later it's just gonna be here inside of uh, like in, in here to the side of the gears there's this little silver ring and on the silver ring there's actually two grub screws there's one that's actually down exactly in the middle that actually has to be tight and then the one to the far end the one closer to let's say the right side um, that's the one that you adjust to kick in earlier or later so what you do is if you wanted to kick in later you go clockwise just by a little bit you know, uh, and then if you wanted to kick in sooner, then you go counterclockwise. But you're only moving it really like two mil, or maybe three mil at the most, um, and that's going to actually change the uh, the gear, the timing of the gear. So we're going to start it up again, see if we can hear the difference. Yeah, right there. So it's a little later now, right? Okay. So give it a little run. Yeah, do you hear it there? Okay, so do you like it like that or you want it a little later? Um, you want to try it? Yeah. Okay, I'll hold the camera. Go ahead. 
<laughs> if you actually want to see how fast the car goes, we can actually walk over the flat spot and you can actually go a little yeah. faster. If you want to do that, we can. Alright, so we're just going to take a little walk over here. It's a beautiful day, by the way, guys. If you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. Um, thank you to all our fans for subscribing. Summer's going to be a lot of fun. So here we got a lot of uh, flat ground and we can really see the car go. Yeah, there it is. So I heard the second gear kick in. Do you like it like that? Yeah, it's nice. Cool. Do you mind if I do one little pass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust you. Alright, so I'm going to do a little pass here. So when you're driving it really quick, guys, make sure you turn down your power steering here to like two or three. So it's more forgiving. So there it is guys, Tornado S30, two-speed transmission, working nice. Woo. Cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks Adriano.